I'm gonna try my hand at defeating this gorilla dude here. I think I might get one shot here, but uh, we shall. F f Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got a price for y'all. Snake eyes on thanks for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. Before we dive into the video, guys. If you're new around here, please be sure to subscribe and don't forget to turn on those notifications so you're notified of all my uploads. But most importantly, guys, don't forget to support the video itself by dropping a like if you happen to enjoy it. If you didn't drop a like on the video, your Roblox account is going to go oh, and just disappear, Jesus guys. Christ. So if you don't want that to happen, drop a like on the video right now. So guys, in today's video, we're finally getting around to playing a One Punch Man game on Roblox. And this one in specific is called One Punch Man Evolve. Now, the game doesn't have anything in the description. I don't know what to expect. But let me tell you guys, I hope I expect something good. Because, dude, I, I was originally going to record on this game. And this game is just so bad oh my i just i can't i'm sorry this is the first game that i'm actually going out there and saying it's bad this game <laughs> so yeah i definitely hope that this one right here this one punch man evolved i mean just look at the likes and dislikes it's a lot better i hope it's actually good guys let's get this started it was updated a year ago let's go baby oh yeah Projecta. one punch man <laughs> <laughs> is my angry ghoul i'm definitely gonna be a hero so let's continue here and we can select our type we have different classes oh that's nice but i'm i'm, I'm a superhuman Ooh. and i died wait what's going on oh okay yay we're in the game now how do i mute the music take the music off thank you very mucho now apparently we can re-roll our class i don't know what, why would i want to re-roll do you want to reset your class for 50 robux no we can apparently prestige as well which resets our stats level in class and unlocks a form we need to be level 250 and get 100k yen this man is literally my old robux character look at him look at that man in that nasty chin now don't try to hide from me wait did somebody just push me oh oh this is how you move around guys look at that Look at that. <laughs> Look at the movement. Oh my God. All right. Anyway, yo, is that girl butt naked? Woman, put some clothes on. Oh my God. <laughs> what the hell? So we have skills in the upper left hand corner here. Uh, the Z button is. Ooh, I like that. That's a smash ability. Mm, baby, <laughs> let's smash it out. <laughs> so then we also have our stats over here, guys. We have 10 points. So I'm going to put everything into strength because, you know, we're Saitama. So come on now. Also, our reputation is one. I don't know what that means, but yeah, let's, uh, let's talk to this guy here. Is that a quest? Man has a bunch of freaking... Yo, how is that pot? How is this bench strong enough to maintain like all that weight on it, right? Anyway, uh, Ryan has... Oh, he actually has a chop. Man. All right, this man does not have quest for me, but I do have a thousand yen and I can buy some weights. So let's purchase the weight. So if we take out the weight, oh, now I'm leveling up. Kind of weird how the game works like this, but if you look over here in the top left hand corner, guys, we have the level over here and then the blue bar, which should really be like a yellow bar or something else, is our XP bar. Oh, wait a minute. Did I just lose my weight? That's crazy. So I guess you can only use accessories for a certain amount of time, you know? All right, yeah, this is kind of confusing. I don't know. All right, well, there's actually people in the background like that guy this guy over here too that wait what about this person this civilian can i kill the civilian i'm a freaking villain dude this guy is a hero mm, die oh so we kill civilians for exp as well but then doesn't that affect my reputation no it doesn't affect my reputation anyway let me put all my points into strength and then we're gonna try to take on this quest from jordan here defeat three paradisers uh okay i don't know I, this is kind of weird to me right because this game is not magnificent but trust me guys I, I think in this video i'll show you later on the other game that i was playing and just how bad it was to me but I, it begs the question as to why who is this small ass person who the hell yo he's actually hitting him <laughs> yo this guy's actually hitting people man Anyway, why hasn't somebody made like a really good looking One Punch Man game on Roblox? Because One Punch Man is famous. Like, why not, right? Anyhow, oh, these guys are NPCs. Okay, I thought it was an actual player chasing somebody to kill him off, which would have been really funny. This guy has abilities that I do not have. All right, guys, I don't know if we killed him or not, but there we go. I think we killed him now. So I'm not even too sure where the Paradisers are. Like, I'm just going to go ahead and talk to Ed. What about Ed? Ed, give me a quest, baby boy. Defeat 15 mosquitoes. <laughs> That's not gonna happen, Ed. I don't even know how to run, guys. Like, how do I even, oh my goodness. All right, what about this guy here? What does he have? Defeat one hammerhead. Who's hammerhead? I don't, oh damn, there's a thug over here though. All right, we killed him off too. I don't, dude, I don't know what to feel. I don't know. I don't know, man. What about this guy? Does he give me a quest that I can actually do? Defeat three razor heads. Oh my God. Is it, 
I don't know why they're here if they're telling us to go to the randomest places. I expect that if the NPC is right here, the person that I'm supposed to kill for the quest should also be like right next to us. Or at least they should tell us where we need to go. Because it's kind of like how this guy is saying in the chat. The game isn't that bad, but it could be better. At this point, I don't know if it'll ever get updated though. Because the last update for the game was a year ago, you know. But I mean, I guess you'll never know, right? So what about this guy? Defeat three sea monsters. Okay. At the very least, I think this guy actually... Oh, so I think this is the quest marker slash indicator for where you got to go for a quest. So at least this guy tells us where we need to go. And these are the sea monsters. Let me just put all my stat points into strength. And these guys are literally about to kill the monster that I wanted to kill. Mm, baby, let's go. <laughs> ah, I didn't take the kill from that guy at all, actually. You know what? I... Yeah. I had a feeling I would die. Oh, so I found Hammerhead, guys. Oh, I can kill this guy. Oh... I thought I would be able to kill him. Oh, did he just step on my head? <laughs> what the hell is wrong with that, man? That dude is mad. All right, you know what, Jordan? Talk to me, Jordan. Give me the quest. So the Paradisers. Yeah, they're over here, guys. All right, so yeah, they do have like a quest marker for where you need to go to actually kill the NPCs that they want you to kill or the mobs they want you to kill, right? I also noticed that you can literally spam your Z ability and just one shot a lot of different things. You see? So a lot of these low level mobs, I can actually just one shot with my Z ability. So I'm going to keep doing that. All right, so I found the Paradisers and I got killed. <laughs> and this guy got killed too. <laughs> All right, you know what? You know what? We can do it, though, guys. We can definitely do it. All right, guys. So apparently in this game, it's kind of weird. You have to turn shift lock off. And then if you hold shift down, you can actually run fast, as you guys can see. Kind of weird. But granted, the game is dated and it has not been updated in quite some time. So there goes our first paradise. Your kill. No, 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 no. Okay. This is going to be tough, dude. This is really going to be tough. All right, guys. So I leveled up. I, oh, dude, I'm level 30 now. That actually gave us a lot of freaking levels. And I noticed that this game has like really bad scaling because when my defense got to a certain level, I'm going to keep putting my points into defense for a little bit here. And we'll maybe get like around, uh, I want to say that. All right. 72 is fine. Strength. And then everything else we're going to put into defense for the time being because these guys barely damage now. Or at least barely damage me. It could have been a fluke, but no. Yeah, look, guys. Oh, wait. Actually, yeah, it kind of was a fluke. These guys are still hitting me like crazy. Oh, I unlocked my second skill. Oh, I forgot, guys. If I go on my skill, I have three abilities on me now because I'm level 30. I have smash, boulder toss, and then consecutive punches, which is level 30. So let's try out the consecutive punches here. Uh all right, well, it didn't look like anything at all to me. But all right, look, guys, these are all my abilities back to back. Oh, never mind. I killed the thug too quickly. So let's go on a paradise for guy. Yeah, I don't I don't know. It's kind of weird. Like, my moves aren't really as cool as I thought they would be. Oh, God. Oh, God, please. <gasps> please, dude. All right. Anyhow, I can talk to Ryan again because Ryan is going to give me one of these things that I can use to level up. So I'm going to go ahead and use the weight. This should let me... Uh, actually, it's not even that good anymore, guys. So I took on a new quest, guys. Apparently, this quest is to defeat Mosquito Lady. And apparently, she's in here. I don't, oh, dude, somebody's been killing all these mosquitoes here. So the quest reward is 5,000 EXP. It's a lot of EXP. I'm expecting this to be a relatively difficult encounter <laughs> here. Uh, and that is actually... <laughs> Okay, we could definitely not do this right now. Maybe I can take on this quest right here for the mosquitoes. All right, let's see. We got to defeat 15 mosquitoes. Can we do it? That is the question, guys. And I definitely cannot defeat 15 mosquitoes, man. I, I, I'm going to keep doing the paradise quest. I'm probably going to regret this too, but I'm going to buy double XP. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this, but I'm, I'm just going to buy it. What the hell is this? All righty then. I don't know what this is, but it's a floating glowing block. <laughs> So I just rejoined the lobby and I think I spent 500 Robux for no reason because it doesn't seem to be giving me anything better. What's back over here? Yeah, these are dead mosquitoes again. But yeah, it doesn't seem to be giving me much more EXP at all. I don't I don't think the game passes even work on this game. <laughs> Yikes. So for the consecutive normal punches, you literally have to hold down the button to actually use the move like that, guys. All right. So that's actually pretty good to me in my eyes because I thought the move was just like completely broken or just it was obsolete or whatever the case may be. But no, it actually works and it actually is pretty good. Now, additionally, we did unlock a new move since we're above level 50 now or level 45, should I say? It's our uh, V ability here. So I'm going to go ahead and use it. We jump up and we land and... Okay, well, there you go. We, we did a bunch of damage, but that pretty much is the move itself. All right, we're getting somewhere now, guys. We're getting somewhere, you know? I really like the consecutive normal punches, though. That move for sure is, like, the best one. Because I can hold it down, 
since I have like enough energy and just look, I kill them off right away. So my best bet for you guys is if you're also going to play this game for some reason, I don't know, because the game is pretty good. It just needs to get updated. It hasn't been updated in a year, so I'll cut it some slack. But um, as you guys can see, like, yeah, that's just the easiest way to kill these guys. There we go. So I just completed the quest again. Dude, this quest actually gives me a lot of confidence, right? So let me try. I think this person, Tom, was the person. Yeah, okay. He gave me the Mosquito Lady quest. I'm a little bit ballsy right now because the Mosquito Lady obviously killed us in one hit and whatnot. But maybe if I spam her with a bunch of regular consecutive like normal punches, maybe I might be able to kill her off. So I'm going to go ahead and try it. I'm just... Alrighty, never mind, guys. She is just too difficult, dude. The reason why I thought it would be doable is because, like, let's say, for example, if we go over here to the Mosquitoes. If we do a bunch of consecutive normal punches, they don't end up hitting you. Like, you see how they're just moving around, but they're not actually punching me or damaging me or anything like that. So that's why I thought this quest would have been doable. Apparently, it just very much so isn't. What the hell is this guy doing? Yo, he's just running around with that thing, dude. What the hell? So, guys, I've been running around just doing random quests, and I actually just unlocked uh, the ability to do a serious punch not too long ago. I'm going to show you guys how OP a serious punch is. So this guy right here is Hammerhead, right? He's a relatively difficult enemy, but one serious punch, look, and it's enough to do literally half his health as far as damage. And this guy, you know, this guy just got destroyed. But yeah, something cool to note too is that every time you die, a serious punch, which is denoted by the red B key, it resets as well. Typically, you would have to wait like around a minute for it to respawn. But I mean, look, I just went from level 76 to level 80 by completing this quest. So that's a really quick and effective way to level up after you unlock it because literally my next skill is my last skill which is my end key which is you know prestige or whatever it is i don't know what prestiging does in this game but i guess we'll find out right i mean i i think i should have enough money to do it so i just bought a cape not really quite too sure what the cape does for me but um yeah i have saitama's cape now <laughs> i wasted ten thousand yen on this stuff dude um i hope that this actually does Oh, what the hell? I just sat down. But yeah, I hope it does something beneficial because otherwise, yeah, I just kind of wasted some money there. So I'm going to try my hand at defeating this gorilla dude here. I think I might get one shot here, but uh, we shall. F All right. Well, you know what? I think I can reroll a class. Let's see if rerolling a class is going to give me. All right. I became an expert. Does that reset my like levels and whatnot or what? What does that do? Oh, it doesn't reset my levels interesting so my z ability huh all right so this might be a little bit easier actually because look rock throw is one of the abilities on this class and maybe it is easy holy crap maybe it is easier to play with certain classes than others maybe the saitama class that i picked was not the best one i think it is though i mean i don't think i'm doing much damage or much of anything with the <laughs> class that i'm using right now because i dumped everything into strength let's go ahead and reroll again let's see if we can get like Genos or something. Are you all right? I'm gonna try this again. Come on. Yes! Oh, we got the alien class. The reason why I'm excited for the alien class is because the alien class was not an option in the original starting of the game. So I think like the alien class is like a rare hidden class. Now I don't know what the alien class would use. Maybe they use the energy. Um, yeah, maybe they use energy, which I'm not sure what the energy would be for, but anyways, yeah, they the aliens have charged lightning, barrage, blow, regeneration, and blah, 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 blah. Oh my God. Yo. Holy. All right, hold on. Let me find a civilian. Let's see how much damage we do. Okay. All right. Well, we killed the civilian, but I don't know if I'm doing a lot of damage. The easiest way to tell if I'm doing a lot of damage is to go to do this quest again, which is the hammerhead quest. And then we'll see if we can kill him with the abilities that we have right now. But this is definitely a rare class. I can tell because the, the, like, look at these abilities, dude. Yeah, so we're definitely not doing anything as far as damage, guys. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to waste even more Robux because that's what I'm good at, right? And now we're going to dump all our points into energy and we're going to see where that takes us because it has to be. It has to be that we need more energy to do damage. All right, guys, so I'm a certified glass cannon. I have 297 points into energy right now. I'm going to wait for Hammerhead to spawn again. I'm not sure why he's not respawning, but when he does, damn cheeks are my cushion. Or maybe not. Yeah, I, I don't think they are. This guy's not respawning in. Actually, who is this all the way back? Oh, it's a civilian. What is that civilian doing back here, right? 
That's weird. All right, guys, I'm going to try the impossible. These guys are like super difficult to kill, but I'm going to see if I can kill them off. Oh, this one guy just killed him like no problem. But yeah, I'm going to try to kill some sea monsters now with the newly acquired alien powers that I have. <laughs> I missed that attack. Oh, I missed again. I can Oh my God. Wait a minute. Oh, I just died again. Wait a minute, though, guys. I think... <laughs> you know, I think the alien class is really OP and broken in this game. You smell that, guys? It's the pay to win. Now I'm starting to enjoy the game. <laughs> if there's pay to win, I'm there. You know, if I got to pay, I'm there winning, baby. So I think... What ability was it? Was it my... Oh, Yo, my V ability does so much damage. Dude, what? I'm kind of scared to test out what my B ability is. You know what? F it. Right here, right here, right here, right here. Okay. Oh, oh my goodness gracious. This class is OP, dude. I mean, but yeah, guys, that pretty much is just going to sum it up for me. I mean, I apologize if this video isn't the best for you guys because there's not really much to do on this game, but I really wanted to make like a One Piece video. I really hope that in the future, later this year or, or in a couple months or something, somebody makes like a good One Piece game. So I really feel like it could go really far. I mean, this game has potential, but it hasn't been updated in such a long time that I feel like it's just, you know, th there's no point in hoping or anything like that. I also wanted to show you really quickly just how bad this game is. Like, I don't know why it's using the One Punch Man name because it literally has nothing to do with One Punch. Like, maybe one of you guys can educate me about this game in the comments, but like, this is literally the game, right? You come in here and in order for you to see your stats and stuff like that, you literally have to do stuff and, and pull up your stat menu so you can't even see your character doing anything. And the way for you to get quests and whatnot is to literally go over here. I don't even know how to run. Like, there's like in the, in the menu option, then the settings, there's a... a all right, well, I just did a bunch of talking and I had my mic muted, guys. So, yeah. Just to summarize what I was saying, the game just, uh, it, trust me, it's not that great. So, if somebody has a One Punch Man game under development or there's a small developer that watches this video that thinks like, hey, Flex, if you cover my video game, that'd be great because my game is actually good. Let me know because I will play the heck out of your game. I'll promote it a lot because these games... Not to throw any shade or whatever the case may be, but they just like, I mean, like, look at this game. What, what, what is this, dude? What is this, man? For the record.